Hi guys, welcome to the Music b and I'm Callum and today we're going to be reacting to an artist called Badison. So the song we're going to be reacting to today is called Bilingual, which is I have previously reacted to before, but this is a remix of that. So I think I'll link up Bilingual, the original one there. You can go and check that one out. This is a remix of that song by an artist known as Kare Sinister. I hope I've said that correctly. I think I might have. Uh, so we're going to listen to this. I would implore you to listen to the original song first and then come back and listen to the reaction of this. We'll see how it fares compared to the original song. I'm a big, big fan of Badison. So I'm hoping that this remix has done Badison justice because he's an amazing artist. Let's go. Okay, so we've got definitely more electronic elements from the get-go. Higher, higher bit there. Okay, completely different vibe. Not that that's a bad thing, but if you hear the original, it's so sort of on the on the verge of that sort of emo trap pop punk kind of scene. And then this is definitely more electronic in its. And it's taste really good though. Harry Sinister, great with the production there. The way Badison comes across in this feels a bit like Al City in a way now. Like a slowed down 80s Al City. Tell you what, this chorus though sounds like something like Euro trance, put your hands in the air. This is happening in a club. It's a vibe, it is a vibe. I love that bit. Anyway, in the original song, da 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 da, it always works well. Nice melody line, anyway, in both versions of the song. Sorry, sister, done an amazing job with this remix. It sounds beautiful. It sounds gorgeous. Christ, did a great job with Bilingual's vocals. Hasn't taken too far away from the original as well. Sometimes remixes can go way over the top, cutting it so it sounds nothing like the original. It's still keeping that essence of the original, but in a completely new light. And I really do like that in the remix. Here we go, there's that hook. Like in that synth line. Ding, 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 ding. That synth following that vocal melody. Really emphasizing it. This is just going to be the calm exit for the song. Okay, picking up the drums again. I feel like it's going to fade out after this. Okay, so I am a massive fan of the original song as it was. It was a great original song, you know, it really, the vocals really did fit um, the guitars and everything. That song came together well. It felt like it was in the right world. This remix does not fail to uphold those standards of that original song. It doesn't trump over the original. 
it doesn't try to take anything away or improve on it it puts it in a different light it's like the melodies were extracted and put into a different light a different world in a way that it was still fun the original was still there all the parts were there it was kind of almost emphasized it was kind of like um an ode to the original song but done in a sort of slow 80s synth pop kind of dark wave i don't know kind of vibe uh, so Carrie Sinister, amazing job in the remix. Beautiful production. Uh, done that song proud, bilingual. If you like this, make sure to add it to your streaming services. Tell me in the comments what you thought about it. After listening to the original, do you think it's any better or any worse? Or do you feel like it's just a different version and a good version? You know, tell me what you think in the comments. So in a world where everyone wants to be heard, but no one's doing the listening, be the one that does the listening. Goodbye, I guess. I say.